So we're going to make a snowflake by coding it. The thing you got to know about snowflake is there's science and math involved in snowflakes. If you look at pictures of snowflakes, what is a snowflake? So it's science. What's freezing point? What's the chemical composition? All sorts of things there. But the math is the other part we need. If you look at all the snowflakes, they have what's called six-fold symmetry. They have got six branches. Every one of them has six branches, and all six branches are the same. And all six branches, all the branches are equally spaced. So that's what we're going to have to do. Now, we're just going to first just make a branch. Um, you can make a branch. Let's just start simple, though. Um, we're going to, you know, this is the first page, pencilcode.net slash edit slash first. And let's see, I want, I don't want that pen. I want this pen. Yep. I want the other pen. So I put drag it in there and then I drag this one out. I'm going to change color just for fun. And it's got size 10. I'm going to get rid of this for loop for now. Um, size 10. Let's see if that's thick enough. So let's just move. Okay. That looks pretty thick. You know, we could, you could change that. That's, again, you know, playing with the variables. How thick do you want it to be? Depends on what you're going to do with it. You're going to print it. You're going to cut it. Um, so let's make a branch to our snowflake. So lots of things you can do for branches. But, again, let's just start simple. And let's just make some little angle things that go off it. So we went forward 100 I'm going to back that up a little bit. Go forward 60. Now I want to turn, but I'm not going to turn 90. I don't know. I'll just pick a number. Turn 50. And then I want to go forward a little bit. But not a lot. All right. See what this does. Turn a little bit. Go. Boom. So make a little branch off there. Now, again, things are symmetrical. So I need to do that to the left also easiest way is just back this thing up so we went forward 30 so we're going to go back 30 and we went right so that would bring us back to the center line we went right 50 so now we got to turn left but we don't turn left 50 50 will just bring us back to the center we got to turn 50 twice so we got to turn to the center and then we got to turn left 50. All right, so boom, make a little branch, make a little branch. Oh, I've got still to go forward. Um, how far forward do we go the second time? 30. All right, here we go. Boom, boom. All right, so let's come back again. Let's bring it back 30. And let's aim it back straight up again. So we can go forward some more. And we're going to go right 50. So again, we're making this. Again, you can make your little pivots out there, whichever, however big you want. Um, all right, so now let's move forward again. Um, let's go 40 more. And again, let's turn right. And this is where you start playing with things. Turn right 70. Go forward... 50. I don't know. See what it looks like. So we're making our branch. We're going to go forward some more. Okay. That doesn't look bad. Um, so now we've got to come back again. Remember? Come back to the middle. So we went forward 50. So we're going to come back 50. We had turned right 70. So we're going to turn left twice that. 140. And then what do we do? Forward 50, back 50. It's a lot of little steps like this. Um, let's see what it does. All right. Um, let's get us back aiming up 
And let's move forward a little bit. I don't know, 30. I'm just trying stuff. And again, you can always speed your guy up if you want your turtle up. All right, so now I'm going to do something a little different. Ooh, let's do the curve. Let's put a curve on it. Um, let's just see what that curve does. That's going to go 180 degrees with a radius of 100, I think is what that means. I don't want 180 degrees. Let's go 75. All right, let's see what that does. We know what this is doing. Boom, boom, boom. So just making designs that are symmetrical. All right, that's pretty good. But how do we get it back to here to um, arc the other way? Because we want to do a left 75, um, 100, right? But we're going to have to do, we got to get it back. And here is what we do. Here's one way I know how to do it. There's a couple ways. Here's the, the, the easiest logical way to me. I want to pick the pen up. And I want it to finish making that loop. And it, that was 180. That was 75 and 100. So a whole circle is 360. So I, now I needed to go 285. And after it does that, I want it to put the pen back down. And do the left one. Right, so just making some branches. Making a branch that's got some little nuances to them ta-da and it doesn't look like much right now but that's because it's just one branch so fiddle with you know all these steps to make a branch and now I'll show you the hard part we got to make that happen six times okay so that's the four that four thing right four and now I gotta figure out how to put that everything in there let's see if I can do this how do I put everything in there oh it's not gonna uh, darn see some plate some programs let you grab everything all right one at a time I guess So maybe we want to start with um, a for loop that's that just does it multiple times, and we can have it just do it one time, and then we can change that one to six. Okay, I know. Now, here are the couple things we've got to do. Oh, forgot that. All right. Um, at the end of the loop, we want to go back to zero, zero. So we want to jump to zero, zero. That's the beginning. Um, so that'll set us back to the beginning so we can do another loop, another branch from the beginning. But here's one other thing we have to do. We want to aim it at 60 degrees and then 120 and then 180. So that means we need to uh, tell it to aim somewhere. Here's the trick part. We got to grab this thing. This is x equals zero. Put this up top. I'm going to call it angle. So right now it's aiming at the angle. And the angle is zero, so that's straight up. Um, and then at the bottom, I want to change the angle by 60 degrees every time it runs through this loop. And that's what this code will do. So it's going to jump to zero, 0, change the angle by 60. 
And I got one more thing I gotta do. I gotta tell it the top to aim at that angle. Um, turn to angle. We're gonna do that. Turn to angle. So here's what happens. We change the pen color, make it thick, set an angle to zero. I wanted this to happen six times. Then I want to aim at my angle and then build a branch. Boom, 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 build a branch. Then I want to jump back to zero to the beginning and turn 60 degrees and do that six times. I'm going to speed this puppy up. All right, so here's making one branch. And again, this the branch is where you can fiddle with. See how it turned? And that's the advantage of variables that you can change. So now this is starting to look like a snowflake, right? And then we can print these out. We can cut these out of vinyl. Um, it doesn't give us a really big screen there. And there is our snowflake. So many things you can build with a snowflake. So there's some thoughts. Where is my...